it's time to play. And uh, I'm going to play with something today that was suggested by Armados. Armados. Not quite sure exactly how to pronounce his channel name. But it's suggested that I ought to explore a little bit about a thing called hypertube cannons. And so I did some research and I found an excellent video by Toaster Gaming. And frankly, he was building just mega hypertube cannons. I mean, he does a great job and I recommend you go look at his video uh, if you want a really complete tutorial. Let's, uh, let's go get it started here. I'm gonna put it right here in this gap, shooting out over, over here. And what I wanna do is really wanna land in that area on top of this cliff and uh, just kinda see if I can do it. So the cannon will go straight out this way, so I'll have to turn it just a little bit to go over and land where I want to. But first thing I wanna do is put in a hypertube support. So I'm gonna start with a support here and this will be the end of the part that shoots you up. Now the next thing I want to do is attach a hypertube to that, but you'll see that I want to put it right next to it, okay? But it doesn't like that. And so what I had to do is recognize that in putting the hypertube there, notice that when I put it next to it, it has the graphic pointing out the other direction for some reason. So I, I want to connect it here. And then I need to straighten this out until finally it gets blue. And then I can kind of scoot it into place and then I can click on it and put it next to it. Now, it's a rinse and repeat from that point on. For some reason, my hypertube constantly wants to be faced the opposite direction of what I want it to be. Okay, there we got it blue. And as I keep snugging it up here, one more click, boom. Okay, successfully built another. I'm just gonna put five entrances here. That's our five there. Okay, so per his instructions, what he did then is you delete the middle ones here. Okay, so I will delete the middle ones. Okay, and delete this middle one. And now this is constructed actually of two distinct hypertubes. One, the one exiting here and the one entering there. You wanna delete the entering one. And I just did it the wrong way. Is there an undo in this game? Tug on it. I meant to do that one. Okay, so let's see. Nope, I need to start over. And there's number five. Okay, now quickly we'll delete middle items here. And because my hypertube is meant to go to the right, so I want to delete this side here. Okay, and I want to delete that side there. And in the middle here, now what I want to do is I want to take all three of these and put hypertube entrances. And I have to make sure that they're going the right direction. And that green arrow there seems to indicate it's going to go to the right. And, and there we go. All three are going the same direction. Now the next thing I have to do is make sure they all get powered up. Oh, I have a power pole right there. Okay, I wonder why that one's yellow. Whoops. What? He said there was a possibility that you could get stuck in the middle of your hypertubes. I didn't think that accidentally walking too close would be a problem because this one obviously is not working and I'm stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle. Uh. 
Okay, I think I can walk away from it. Well, let's see if I can restore it, figure it out from... Oh, uh, I can't put an entrance there. I can connect that. You know, I never had this problem before with directionality on my hyper tubes before. Well, I can build it the old-fashioned way. I can put a support right there in line. I'm going to go there, but I'm going to bring it instead of in line with it. I'm going to bring it over here. Okay, that ought to be enough lift. And we'll see what what direction it's going to point me here. Okay, now, what I want to do, though, is I want to make this one here an entrance. So, even though they're separated by a little bit, it's not as clean and neat as, as uh, Toaster Gaming does, this can still be made an entrance. And I could put that entrance right over it. Boom, like that. Okay, there's another storage box. I, I'm planning on dying, is the problem. And I don't want to leave all my stuff clear out there until I figure out where I'm going to land. And make my box. Store all. And let's go test it out. And splat. Okay. Oof. And I, I'm still alive. <laughs> I'm still alive. It's lived. Okay. So what I need to do is I need need to uh, pick leaves here and pick leaves here. I need to create some biomass because I need to make a a gel landing pad. Okay. Where am I? Um, I'm, I'm out here ways. So that's what a cannon does. What does it take to build a jelly landing pad? Okay, I need a rotor, cable, and I need 120 more biomass. Okay. What? I thought I had a whole bunch of stuff in my bags. Oh, come on. Okay, I've got enough to build it. All right. Let's go launch. If I die, I've got all my stuff down there. If I don't die, I build a jelly landing pad right there. Oof, got close. Right there. Alrighty, let's go check her out. All right, I'm gonna dive straight into the hyper tube and we'll see. Am I gonna hit it? Whoop. Oops. This time I fell just short of it and I died. Welcome back. Somehow, that was just a little bit too far. Boy, clearing a lot of the bushes out from under here oh, makes it look better. Uh, looks like the bushes have mostly come back. Okay, what I want to do here um, is I want to build three more. Um, That's where it comes from, down this direction. I'm just gonna build one more. Let's, oh uh, yeah, let's build it right there. 
I don't have the berry in my hand anymore. I don't know. I need to look up what it takes to attract doggo. The fluffy doggo. I need to make one of them a pet. And I'm not quite sure how to make them a pet yet. So I'm going to go launch off my cannon and see if it works. See if we've got the gel pen in place. And uh, our, our day of fun would have will have concluded. Landed in the jelly pad. Yay! At least close enough. Okay. And I survived. That's a cannon. And they're kind of fun too. Kind of neat transportation. So uh, hey, if you if you liked what you saw here and had a little fun with me, uh, hit that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll look forward to seeing you again. Thanks. Bye.